Hi and welcome to VFX Tutors. I'm Josh and in these set of tutorials I'm going to show you how you can make a professional match move reel with free software and your mobile phone. In this tutorial I will be using the free open source scanning software Meshroom. We will use photos I took on my phone to create a nice scan so we can survey, survey to with our footage. This is only a basic intro, intro to Meshroom, but we should get you going with your own scans quite easily. So I've downloaded Meshroom. Um, it sort of runs like an app, so you don't have to install it. Just open up the folder. Then just double click on the, the XE and it will load up. So as you can see here, it's uh, got a fairly basic UI. We've got the images section here where we'll drag or drop our um, images, our image viewer where we can look at our images, our 3D viewer where we can look at our final product. Um, we've got this start stop thing here at the top which we'll come to in a minute and at the bottom we've got our graph editor. So this now shows you the entire process as node based. So it's quite useful having this as a node based sort of function because if something goes wrong somewhere in the chain you can you can edit that one node and it doesn't break the whole thing you can just recompute it so i won't go through every single one of these sort of nodes because we're going to use this uh, mesh room as its most basic function because this just comes in as default and pretty much if you've taken some good photos this will work perfectly fine and we won't really need to change anything and if you've used photogrammetry software before it's, it's, it's a fairly simple sort of process the hardest thing is taking nice photos. So we've got all these sort of nodes here like feature extraction and uh, image matching. So when we process this it's going to go through all of these one by one to sort of figure out our scan. It's going to come up to, it's probably going to go quite quickly through these then as soon as it gets to its sort of depth maps, depth map filters that's when it's going to start building the high res, uh, well, the, the dense point clouds. So it might take a little bit longer. Then it will go to our meshing, the mesh filtering. Then to finally our texture, where it will project all the textures from our images. So I wouldn't really, I'm not really going to change anything um, for any of this apart from my texturing, because I want to bring this into 3D and as this is a default, if we look at the default, we can leave this texture size at 8192 and texture file type. You can choose JPEGs, PNGs, or TIFFs. Um, uh, let's do it as a TIFF, why not? And unwrap methods basic. The thing we want to uncheck is use UDIB because 3D doesn't. Well, it doesn't support UDIM, I don't think. Um, I've, it always just brings in one one uh, image tile. So I'm going to make sure I turn UDIM off so then when it goes through, it puts everything onto one tile. So if you were planning on to use stuff with UDIMs, um, you can click that on and leave it on. But for this case, I'm going to leave it off. So with that done, just that selected off and I've changed that to TIFF. We can go to our data package, got data footage, and in there is the photogrammetry folder. So you can see we've got all our images taken on our phone now. We don't have loads. Let's say this is supposed to be done very quickly. So you can see that it's just 24 images. And if you just press the arrows on your keyboard, you can see if I go through the sort of um, method methodology I did for taking these photos for the scanning. You can see I just went round the tree, like a, just in a clock formation, just, and just trying to get all the angles. And you probably want to fill the frame as much of your subject area. Um, for this, I was just trying to get the whole thing in and just do a very basic run through. But you can, you can add more photos and bring in closer to get more detail. But for this, I just wanted to get something basic and quick. So we've got all our photos here. And we haven't got loads, we've only got 24. And, and the good thing about this, we don't have to do much at all. It will automatically go through these nodes. And now you can see at the top, 
the start and stop is highlighted in green. And I think if we select start without saving it, it should prompt us. Yep. So it, what it does, it will compute the cache folder and it'll put it in the app data. So we'll cancel that and we'll save it. Because as this process, it caches out. So you don't have to actually export stuff either. So just going to go to my file. Uh, data. I'm going to make a folder called scan. I'm just call this a mobile tree scan vo one I click save. So now everything that we cache out will be saved to there. So now all we have to do is just click start. And you'll get this green bar up here. And the green will be completed processes. And the orange will be effectively processing that section. And as you can see here, this node is green. And this one, the feature extraction is orange. So it's currently processing through that. And it's going to go through each one of these nodes doing its job all the way up to texturing where then once it's got to there we can have a look in the 3d viewer and it should be pretty much done so all we can do now is just let it do its thing um grab a drink or a coffee or something like that or a beer and um yeah just wait for it to process and it will go through it slowly like i say when it gets to the depth maps it'll probably go a lot slower but with 24 photos it should be fairly quick so i'll probably fast forward through this and you can just see how it works through all these nodes cool so that's now finally processed and if we look over in our 3d viewer we can now see we've got point cloud here and this is our base point cloud, sort of our camera alignment one. So if your model is looking like, if you can see what your model is at this stage, it means you're probably going to have a very good time and it's going to work very well. Um, so yeah, so we want to see our mesh. So all we need to do is go load model. And this should now load in our cache, hopefully. Cool. So we've got some weird stuff going on here, but if we look, we've got our tree and we've managed to actually get quite a lot of detail just from our phone. And like I say, I only did a very quick once around the tree. So if you spent more time getting more areas, you'd get a much larger scan. But for this sort of tutorial I just wanted to get something out quick and easy something with a very basic sort of setup so you can just almost drag and drop and click start and the glory of this is you don't have to export anything either we can save it so let's call it VO2 as the processed one and because when it's set at the beginning uh, it, it prompted us to save our file. That's it's already exported all our caches for us. So now, if I just quickly go to my folder, go to our data scan, and now we've got this folder here called Mushroom Cache, and we've got it exports everything for us just in case we need it. Um, in our case, we won't really need any of this apart from our texturing one, which now gives us a textured mesh and our textures. Cool. So yeah, it's pretty much, this is pretty much it. It's done. Our next stage would be to sort of clean this model up and sort of orientate it because you could just kind of just bring this into 3D. But the whole point of this is to sort of get your real as good as, as as best as possible with as many sort of free pieces of software. So we will be using the, the PLE 3D, um, but we don't want, we want to be able to see our horizons correct. So we're going to bring this into a 3D software and uh, fix this alignment and scale it. So yeah, we're pretty much done. 
Um, and yeah, that's a basic sort of setup. Well, I didn't even really set much up, but that's the basic sort of workflow and taking images for some basic uh, scans for your uh, match move or your VFX projects. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.